Hi, I'm Tim from Cooking Light, and I'm here to show you a trick for making the perfect roasted chicken uh, in a cast iron pan, in a super hot oven that's going to give you perfectly brown, crisp skin and juicy meat in about a fraction of the time it takes to roast chicken for the most part. The first step is to preheat your cast iron, large cast iron pan in a 500 degree oven. Uh, put the pan in the oven as it preheats. It'll take about 30 minutes, but you want to make sure that the pan is super hot before the chicken goes in. And then we get to the bird. We're using about a four pound bird here, um, which we like to pat dry as much as possible before cooking it because that's going to lead to even crisper skin. One easy trick to getting the crispest skin is to put the chicken in the fridge overnight uncovered and that's going to dry the skin out even more. We're just going to pat it dry as much as we can here. Take away any excess moisture. The only knife work involved here is very simple. We're going to splay the legs, the leg quarters. So here's the breast, here's the leg quarter. You're going to see a line of fat running between them. That's where you're going to cut along, all the way down to the bottom of the thigh. So just making small, even strokes. We cut down between the breast and the thigh. And we're going to do the same on the other side. You'll see the line of fat. That's the mark that you're going to cut along. Take it all the way down to the bottom of the thigh where the thigh bone meets the socket. Now, to ensure that they stay flat in the pan, we're gonna pop the thigh bones out of the socket. This is simple enough. You just grab the legs as so with your thumbs running along the, the thigh bones and then pop. You can see that the thigh bones have popped out of their socket and now they're gonna lie flat in the pan without popping up at all. From here we can season our bird. I like to season a little simply. Uh, oil it up with a little bit of either regular olive oil or canola oil uh, because they have lower smoke points than extra virgin olive oil. And you don't, this is a hot oven, so you don't want the oil to scorch and turn bitter. But this is gonna help with the browning a little bit if you coat it lightly with some oil. And of course you're going to season with some salt and pepper. One advantage of splaying the legs is that as you can see the thigh meat is exposed here. So you can actually season it. Where, When you're dealing with a whole bird seasoning it, you you can only season the, uh, the skin side, and so the meat itself doesn't get much in the way of seasoning. Just a little bit of pepper. Now the bird's ready to go in the pan. Our pan has been preheated to 500 degrees. It's a nicely seasoned cast iron lodge pan. They're very cheap. If you don't have one, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an absolutely invaluable piece of cooking equipment. Practically non-stick once they're well seasoned. And you nestle it right into the pan. Pressing down on the thighs to ensure that they uh, are fully in contact with the surface of the pan. That sizzle that you hear is very important. That means that the thigh meat is already starting to cook even before it's in the oven. Then into the oven, set your timer for about 35 minutes. You can check for tempered fat, if, if it, uh, depending upon how well calibrated your oven is, how large the bird is, it might be ready as soon as 35 minutes. If so, pull it and you end up with something beautiful like this where you can see how evenly browned it is, 
the meat itself, the skin, it's all wonderfully, perfectly crispy and done in about 35 minutes. Now, you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before slicing it up so that the juices have a chance to resettle. Ideally, rather than letting it rest in the pan, pull it out of the pan and let it rest on a wire rack. So that'll help keep the thigh skin on the bottom of the thighs crisp rather than sogging out because they're in the cooking liquid. And that's all about you need to know.